What's good, family? Welcome back to the world of print. And today we get into episode three of the post. So we're gonna uh, see what's going on in music this week. Been, how you feel about it? I mean, been it's pretty. been a slow year in yeah. general, but COVID, I guess. COVID, you can blame for it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's been a slow year, and it's the third month already. Yeah, like, but you know, some years went crazy, especially like in January. Like, I've been really. Like start up the year, yeah, the musical I'm, year. Right, I've been feeling like it's been weeks off for yeah, a minute. Well, I mean, we're gonna get into this Drake, so hopefully, uh, it's great. Are we gonna get into it? I kind of got into it, but we're gonna get into it. Right, a little more. Is that from this year? Mm -hmm. that, that literally just came out. Came okay. Out, right? Literally just came out. Okay, Amir. I'm going to have to check you out, my buddy. Oh, so, yeah. That was, that was my pick. My Bruno pick. Mars and Anderson Pack. It's yeah. called Leave the Door Open. <clears throat> impression because yeah. I don't love both but I will definitely listen to both and now I'm edging on to water like can't wait to listen to this after listening to that okay we got a rare sound K camp this K camp will both step out the land it's gonna get a nah for me. I'm 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 gonna throw it away. I'm gonna throw it away for a minute. No name. Rainforest. Did her name used to be no name just I like no name just so much me too Got to be more careful out here in these streets. Yeah, I look clips on your song, huh, girl. I, I, damn, she going. She even going crazy. What the fuck are this going dumb? Well, how you feel about it, though? Uh, that's <clears throat> yeah. I got individualize I, the two. How you feel? She uh, has a very distinct flow. Like it's so different. Like everybody has to be like people got different flows. Like nah, her flow is different. But yeah, I mean, I can't say enough. It was great. I like. Okay, it. she is from. 
she from Chicago. Yeah. She reminds me of those rappers who rap like that. And then you you'll watch on YouTube and like, damn, they're going crazy, but you never hear them crossing over to the radio because they well, don't, at they least, don't translate. I mean, I figured she the only reason I figured she was from Chicago is because she kinda the first kind of few things I heard her on was with Chance. True. So you probably think he's trying to I figure, you know what I'm saying? Home. But then right. now I know that she came up with Chance because they from the same area because right. Bronzeville, that's what you always be hearing Chance the Rapper talk about in his songs. Like, that's the uh-huh. area of Chicago, like, he came up in. So, yeah. I also just want to say this. I know she had a whole thing going on with Twitter where she felt like all of her people, her fans, they was uh, white, and she was upset. She was like, you know, black people don't come to my show, you know, and she had a whole thing. That's why I'm glad she started rapping again because <laughs> she yeah. was saying she wouldn't give up rapping for that reason where she felt like black people wasn't receiving her well, which, I mean, I kind of feel two ways about it. Just like, I don't necessarily like her music, but I know that she raw though. But I don't, yeah, I don't but necessarily then, like her but music then because it's it rough don't... though when you're trying to be like a a person trying to get a yeah. point across to True. a certain community True. and them the community not even supporting you. It's crazy. Like honestly, I mean I do support her, but at the same time you it's know like, what I'm saying? like but you imagine, but you gotta be halfway, baby. You you gotta imagine music, you gotta, being gotta, a per- you, gotta, you gotta make the music to sound you know it gotta sound it does have to sound good. I mean I mean I don't necessarily care how a song sounds. If it got good lyrics, like True. if I can listen, if I can listen to what you're saying and I like what you're saying, it don't have to be the best song in the world. I'm gonna listen because True. I like what you're saying. Yeah, you know sometimes people listen to a song for the beat; they don't care what you're saying. True. Like I can listen to a song for the words and not care about necessarily the beat. The beat. You don't. Not, be, you don't. Yeah. 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 Ish, like when we can made the look more on the trap side, when he leaned on the trap side. That's when he was making that that um, cutting edge R and B. Yes, very. Like now he makes uh, pop R and B. I guess pop R and B and regular R and B. I don't know. It's, but it be, that, it that, that it, it, yeah, it's definitely poppy. But he said we're gonna be the biggest pop star in the world. Well, and once you do the Super Bowl, you kind of are on but. You the biggest pop star in the world. Yeah, something on there. Me too. And it said like new artists, like up and coming. Like yours, a fresco trait. Let's see, fresco trait. <laughs> I ride and make a feel good Smack it when I eat it Gotta let them know I'm still good Don't know what I drink But I just know that I don't feel good I'ma shoot my shot No, I can't stop Believe me I've been on the road For the past five days She know it's no fun When I have my way She can get replaced In the fastest way Hey, if love hurts, I guess I love pain. Can't go too early like I'm LeBron James. I did it once, okay. I do it again. I fucked two girls and they was fine. And they like how you do whatever he want with bitch on the man. And I'm the dancing dripping on my wrist, it made me feel good. She just want a nigga fuck her right and make her feel good. Smack it when I hit it, gotta let her know I'm still good. I'm in bitch, you know she mine. And dancing dripping on my wrist, it made me feel good. She just want a nigga fuck her right and make her feel good. Smack it when I hit it, gotta let her know I'm still good. Don't know what I drink, but I just know that I don't feel good. I'ma shoot my shot, no, I can't stop, no I put it on the gateway with the top, no Praying to the Lord that I don't frog, no When I'm up up on the stage, you know Good, yeah, fresh go trade. I mean, up and coming, bubbling. Yeah. I, I can't. Speak I, much. I can see it. I can see your bubbling. I can't though. speak much, but I, I, I feel it. One thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. Same, same, same. Only did. But I do break. I know. <laughs> My little 
Mostly just good beat and most mostly good production. I mean, what did you add to it? I want to tell you what it is or whatever you're saying. I ain't, I ain't like it, but good try. What you? How you feel? <laughs> man, I don't know why you were saying like that. He could have okay. just sung it. Yeah, or... <laughs> okay, then tell me. Then. I felt like you. I felt like he uh, made this song in the closet. <laughs> like I felt like. <laughs> Cause I felt like his homeboy just pulled out a beat and they had this, this, the sound bars on the closet. Yeah. They had a microphone in there. <laughs> it was like, yeah, just cut it on, bro. Do your thing, bro. It is that one. We don't need to complicate. I'll be nothing that you hate. I just want to hear you say that you want me to. Not too high, not too low, right. not too much. Right, 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 right. It was like not too less, like he gave you just enough to keep you. And he really slid across, slid across that beat too. Yeah, that was that was, that was smooth. Smooth that shit. Tone. I'm on SoundCloud. Let me To the post, so we just listened to um, what we listened to, Tanner Trace. Um, <laughs> I can't go outside. Uh, I'll let you go first. What you, what you think? What you think of it overall? Overall, like from his name to how his I mean, I like Tanner Trace. Plant, his face is in the plant. What was the first video? That the was first the first video we talked song. about him. Yeah, Fuego, the first song. The first video we talked about him, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If y'all watched the first video, if you haven't, go back and watch. Yeah. We listened to uh, one song already off of there a few weeks ago. Yeah. But overall, in my opinion, it's riding music. Like, I got to let the top down. I got to be driving like 45, 50. I ain't on the highway. I'm just like. 
But you riding around. Yeah, I'm just riding around the city like I'm cruising. Like I, I might pull up to that. You might. Yeah. yeah, I might pull up and I'm bumping that. Like I gotta have a sunroof open. Like, yeah. I feel the same way. Shit, I vibed out to it. I thought. Yeah. It was, <clears throat> I I, mean, I guess I'd like a little bit more than you because I got like a little bit more to say. I mean, I don't know. I thought it was pretty creative. I, mean, I haven't heard. I couldn't identify him with any other. Good number of songs too. Yeah, it was a good number and it was all pretty decent. Uh, except for you know that one to me. I didn't think that to the song tonight. It was the best song, but. I thought it was on that part can grow on me at the time though, but yeah, yeah, I, I feel like listens. I know how yeah, it yeah, sometimes. yeah. Some, sometimes it's some songs. Sometimes like, it be like that, and especially if you listen to something enough. But overall, it was pretty good. I thought it was yeah. like um, it was decent. I mean, it was creative. I mean, hey, it yeah, definitely wrong. creative. Yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, creative because it had a lot of different sounding songs. I yeah, don't definitely, know. definitely a lot of different sounds, but yeah. in a good way though. Yeah, 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 like in the best way. Like it was very interesting. Yeah. So you know, I give it a good uh, I don't know. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably get like an 8 out of 10. I would rating. say about 7.5. Right, right, right. Definitely 7.5. Right seven yeah, 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> I give, give it an 8. Only, on because, only because that song with uh, Tyler Credit was, I thought it was. Epic. It took it over the top. Yeah, yeah. And then the last song was pretty good, too. Yeah, the last, last song was, was real good. good. Yeah, last song was good. So we listened to that, and we also listened to. Of course, we had listened to Drake. Yeah, I listened to Drake. I mean, he already listened to it before, before I listened to it, but I mean, it still had the same effect. I mean, it was pretty. It's only three songs, okay. but I mean. Um, well, before we do that, let's actually uh, let's, let's say our favorites, I guess, on the on the um, on the channel trace. Uh, okay, my my favorite yeah. song channel trace. Let me yeah. let me get to the. Um, before we get to the next, because we're gonna do these two because you know they kind of short. Usually we would do a whole album, but you know. Um, I had like two thousand Chevy Malibu. Actually, that was one of my favorites. Two thousand Chevy Malibu. It was the second song. Yeah, it was real good. Nah, that two thousand Chevy Malibu definitely. It was a smooth cut. It was something different. It was definitely um. It's my number two, and it's right up there. You said your favorite was uh. Two thousand Chevy Malibu, for sure. Yeah, mine was definitely, definitely a broke down kid in the loop. It went crazy to me. Um, so yeah, that was my favorite side of that. Next is the album is Scary Hours Two. Scary Hours Two, because the uh, one was the one with what. Diplomatic community and something else. I thought it was pretty good. It was okay. It was, I think you liked it way more than I liked it. it was, I'm biased. Sorry. Yeah, you is. How is that, actually? Just because you think he's so amazing. What, what do you think was so good about the album, the, the three songs, that it was just, he was just relevant or it was just the way he was rapping? Or? I mean, the way he was rapping, of course. And I like his flow on the last song, on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Like, nah, he was really talking. Like, Yeah. Almost like sometimes when Rick Ross, not on that song, but almost sometimes like when Rick Ross rap, like he don't really be rapping. Like it's almost like he having a conversation with somebody who not talking back to him. He just kind of talking to them. Because right. on that, he was having, he had a lot of pauses on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Yeah. So you could kind of tell that it was a freestyle because he literally was just, he would rap and then for about, you know. <laughs> My only rebuttal to that, that she said that it didn't, honestly, it sound like he wrote it. This is not, okay, let me say this. I don't think that's, taken away from it being a freestyle I, I still do think that is a freestyle when you're freestyling like but I do think that he wrote this it sounds like it to me it sounds like he wrote this down you know before and then just he just put them together because it, it didn't necessarily sound like a freestyle I okay don't know. I to, can, to I can, me I can, I can, I can like when Lil Wayne freestyle like I knew with a freestyle I can't I, I mean I feel, if I can pull up freestyle now it's like you can I don't know Maybe he's such a good rapper. Maybe that's the, he just such a, good, such a good rapper. But yeah, um, it did not sound like a freestyle. It sounded like something he wrote. It sounded really good. Um, okay, I can understand that. I yeah. will, uh, if you freestyle like that, you're going dumb. Well, I mean, when but you're maybe creative, you're going dumb, right? When you're, when you're creative and you're a creator, you go dumb. That's what you can do. Speaking of that, um, I thought of a really good idea. What's uh, that? We should do like a um a top song of the week. Like of all the songs we heard uh, of the whole, we should do like a, a pick out top song and go with. It. Do you have anything else to say about the uh, Drake album, I guess? No, nothing else to say, but, you know, I'm riding out to it. <laughs> it's wrong. Oh, um, do you think any of the songs are going to chart, like, on the, on the Billboard? Um, Cause I'm thinking the one with Lil Baby. You think Only that? because, I mean, I think all three. Because you know, chart, the, cause you know, last one charted. Drake, right. But I definitely feel like the, the Lil Baby one could make it to the radio. And once it makes it to the radio, you already know where it's going. Yeah. It's going up. My yeah. top song of the week. I want to say Lemon Pepper Freestyle, but I'm going to have to go with Rainforest. <laughs> yeah. Because that was a good song. 
I'm gonna have to go with Rain Forest. It was, it was. It was such a good song. I'm all, like, I'm, I'm all, about to listen to that when I get in the car. Right, I'm listening to that immediately as soon as it's over with. So, uh, I'm probably gonna be editing this video and we're listening to that, you know. On repeat? It. Yeah, listen to what she's saying. Like, wait, what she said? It's gonna be the best. Songs that like, either slow damn. down at the end or go right off, those are the best songs. They usually are. Like, they Mark don't, it down. They don't necessarily remember that. <laughs> so, we'll be toward the end of the video. If you guys don't mind, I see you already been doing it. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, leave your comments down below if you have a, another album you want to review or, you know, if you didn't like it. I don't know. Just, if you want to interact, just leave them down below. Down below, down below. <clears throat> like and subscribe. That's been The Post. I'm out. All right.